Today we're going to be talking about um, when you have found yourself thinking that being instinctive is not possible on a certain role. So you might be thinking that you know certain roles are written in a very specific way and that therefore you can't be instinctive. You might be finding yourself in a role that's you know highly specific, that has a lot of description. And so you're thinking, I just need to do this right. I can't just do it in the way that I want to do it. Um, I can't be all over the place. I really need to respect what's written. And um, so that may make you feel that um, you have to kind of submit to what's written. You have to submit to the writing. You have to submit to the description. Like there's an authority that tells you how to do it, how to do it right, how to do it well, and that you can't diverge from that. And that can be really annoying because you're not really being yourself. You're not be really being in the moment. You're controlling your performance. You're trying to do it well. You're trying to do it right. You're being in the outcome, right? You're thinking about the result. You're not really being the character. And yet you still think, well, yeah, I love when I'm instinctive, but there's just some roles where I can't. And so you might be thinking just like it's impossible to always be instinctive. You can't do that. You have to accept the direction. You have to accept the writing. You have to do what's written. You have to do it right. And it's an icky feeling or it's a limiting belief, right? It's a limiting um, thing that you're thinking. And so you may have tried to do the take really, really well or to put some extra work, some extra hard work on really figuring out what you should be doing for this character, how you should do the scene, what's the right way. And so you're putting a lot of extra work, a lot of hard work, and so you really nail how to do the scene and then you just do that over and over again in your audition or in your tape, more likely so in the recent um, time. So it can be, you know, a little repetitive sometimes. And you might have caught yourself also thinking, okay, well, since I can't be instinctive all the time, I'm going to take a lot of classes. I'm going to train a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm going to train with the best. I'm going to go to the best schools, to the best mentors. And that's the way that I'll get it right. And um, that way it you know, we're not even thinking about being instinctive anymore. It's really like, there's a right way to do it. There's a right way to act. And so I work on that really hard and then I can get it right. And then I nail it. And yet you'll often walk away from your tape or from your audition those days. And you're not feeling fulfilled because you haven't really been you, right? You haven't really been in the moment. You haven't really been present to what is happening, present to yourself and to the character, right? So it's an icky feeling. It's a lot of work. And yet you're like in between two chairs thinking, yes, I'd love to be instinctive, but I can't always be instinctive. You just can't do that because your definition or your understanding of instinct is actually very different from what instinct actually is for you. So that where the root cause of this problem is. The root cause of the problem is not that you would love to be instinctive, but some characters don't allow that or some directors don't allow that. No, the real issue is that your belief on what instinct means is that it means chaos, is that it means unpredictable in the bad way, is that it means all over the place. Instinct does not mean chaos. Being instinctive as an actor does not mean that you're chaotic, does not mean that you can't deliver. It does not mean that you're all over the place. It does not mean that you're unprofessional. Being instinctive is a very, very different sensation that you don't have access to right now and you may have sometimes little blurbs of impulses here and there, and you might taste a tiny little bit of instinct, but you're not being instinctive. What being instinctive means is being open, open in the moment, being really there, really alive as you, not as in your head trying to control the outcome, as you with everything you're feeling, 
That's being instinctive, being fully alive, being very present with whatever's happening inside of you and whatever's happening outside of you, right? You could have emotions that you're feeling in this moment and you're capable to be present with them. You're not repressing them. You're not judging them. You're not hiding them. You're not pretending something on top. Being instinctive means, means being open to what I'm feeling comfortably so because I can dance with it, because I can use it. Being instinctive means being open to whatever is happening outside and I can flow with it, right? Instinct is flow. It means you are here and impulses are going through you all the time and they are triggered by what's happening inside of you and they are triggered by what's happening outside of you but you're capable to be with it. You are present. You are in the moment. The one that's happening inside of you, the one that's happening outside of you. Things could be happening on set. Things could be happening during your tape in the audition room. So many things can be happening and are always happening. The question is, can you be in flow with it? Can you be fully there with it? Can you integrate it? Can you dance with it? Can you be instinctive with it? Can you use it? Right? That is what instinctive means. It means you're raw. It doesn't mean you're messy. It doesn't mean you're chaotic. It doesn't mean that you can't answer direction. It doesn't mean that you can't read the role. It doesn't mean that you can't read the indications. It doesn't mean you can't deliver. It means that you're so open that you can actually go left, right, up and down. That you can cry and get angry and get sad and get funny in one moment. That is what being instinctive means. It means you're like a child. A child that has a temper tantrum, gets on the floor, hits it, two seconds after, they're hanging at your neck saying how much they love you. That's being instinctive. It means you're not polluted by what you think you should be doing. You're not polluted by your conditioning. You're not polluted by people pleasing. You're not polluted by the outcome. You are really there. When you approach a character from instinct, meaning from being open, from being fully alive, from being in the moment, from being fully you, it's a very, very different ballgame than thinking, oh, here's what the character is, but I can't be instinctive because that's what they want. So I can't do whatever I want. Doing whatever I want does not mean I am instinctive. And yes, You have read the text, and yes, you have done some work on your character, but you're present, so both can integrate your instinct, your capacity to be present, and in the moment, the amount of life that you're bringing to the table is coming into the character, and it's not just your head determining how the scene needs to be done right, and then you do it, but there's no instinct there, there's no life, there's no oxygen There's no human, right? We want a human being. We're not looking for an actor. No one's looking for an actor. Everyone's looking for a human being inside of those circumstances, right? Your job as an actor is to be 100% alive. If you're not instinctive, you're not fully alive. You're in your head trying to control what's happening, trying to do it right trying to sell yourself. That's what you're doing. You're trying to manipulate the outcome. You're trying to make them like you. People can smell that. You can smell that. It's horrible to do. It's unfulfilling. And people can smell it in the room. They can see it on a tape. They can see it on the big screen. When you're there to manipulate the outcome and to make people like you, you, your truth, your humanity, your instinct, your freedom is not there. So yes, you can be instinctive, meaning open, fully alive and present on every single character. And the day you get your instinct back, which you can't have all the way now because it's sitting under a thick, very thick layer of resistance. The day you get to taste your instinct again, you'll understand. It's very, very difficult to describe in words because it's a sensation that you have forgotten when you were little. It's like if I was trying 
to explain color and you're blind. I can try to explain it over and over again. You haven't tasted it, so you don't know. This makes any sense. Um, and if you want to get your instinct back, if you want to be an adult actor or artist who's capable to be as free and instinctive as a child, then DM us in, um, in the comments. Uh, you'll have in the about section or in the link in the bio, you'll have a way to um, sign for our wait list. But please feel free to send us a DM with some questions and um, we'll get back to you. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.